Hi, it's Wasabi. <coughs> Start again. Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got another tank review, and it's the long-awaited British wheel vehicle, GSOR 1010, 1010, 1010, whatever you want to call it. Now, most of the, in fact, all of the wheel vehicles in the game up to this point are all light tanks as a classification, and this one is a medium tank, and it just sort of shows the heritage of the multi-wheel vehicles uh, that the British created. Um, so it seems appropriate. Okay, let's have a look at the garage stats first, and then we'll go into some more details and show some gameplay at the end. So let's have a quick look at the stats. So average damage 360, most importantly, average DPM 1809. So not spectacular, but this is base. So 100% crew, but no um, additional aids there. Standard dispersion 0.32. Aim time 1.92, that's not too bad. Gun loading time, however, 11.94, pretty characteristic for the wheel vehicles. Uh, gun traverse speed, quite good, 52 degrees per minute, and we've got minus eight degrees of gun depression, 16 elevation. So we've got a rate of fire total of just over, slightly over five, and again, this was without any aids. Average penetration 218. Now, this is a tier 8 vehicle. So, standard pen is not too good, but here we go with the um, premium round, which is APCR, high velocity, and we get 1250 shell velocity, which is pretty good. And pen goes up to 252, down to 241. So, that's Obviously, with APCR, you lose penetration over distance. Um, so, still with the average um, damage of 360, of course. And we've got an HE shell. Let's have a quick look at that. So, only 50 pens, so not fantastic there. Shell velocity is reasonable, 920. Um, and the average damage goes up a slight touch there, but probably not going to be a weapon of choice there. Now it looks like we've got 48 rounds of capacity, that is correct. So there are your overall characteristics there. So survivability 1200, um, hull armor, in fact this is pretty the same for the turret, 60 at the front, 30 on the sides, 15 on the rear for the hull, and 20 on the rear for the turret. So pretty lightweight vehicle there, 19 tons, 20 loaded up, 450 engine power, so reasonable specific power there, 20 just under 24, and a good top speed of 60, and a reverse speed of 30. So not the same as the um, French light tank wheeled vehicles, where they can basically reverse at the same speed as the top speed, because they were designed to do that with uh, two driver's positions. But um, this is quite a different beast. Uh, concealment factors without any camo or camo cruise 13.4 for the stationary and 10 on the move and 380 view range so mm, reasonable view range and not too bad for tier 8 but um, again it's going to be improved with cruise skills all right so um, we'll come back and have a look at it with a sort of a maxed out crew and everything and we'll see what changes there All right, now I've put a fully crude skill in and equipment. So we've put a fence, improved optics, and a gun rammer. Now, notice that this um, vehicle can mount a um, commander's vision system. So that might be an option when you're doing your field mods. Uh, we've put um, food in as well. And let's have a quick look at the stats again. So. We've improved the gun loading to just under 10 seconds, so from 11.2. Uh, aiming times dropped to 1.75, dispersion down to 1.29, and DPM has gone up from about 1800 to 2.2. So reasonable improvement there. Um, you can also mount a um, vertical stabiliser, but from a crew skills perspective, we've given the driver um, smooth ride and uh, it's been maxed out. Now, one thing about the crew. All right, uh, three-man crew. There is no other British medium vehicle in the game at the moment. Now, assuming that there'll be more wheel vehicles, this might just be the start, but 
from turning from the perspective of bringing in um, your other crews, you might have to put in a light tank crew or sacrifice uh, another tank crew that you've already got skills in. Um, points to note that the commander has both the radio operator and loader skills uh, and the gunner has got gunner and loader skills so you've got two loaders basically and the driver is a driver so I've just converted them from another um, vehicle but um, reworked the skills to suit their different loadouts because again there's no one in the current medium tank lineup in the British line that's got that sort of mix of skills. So just something to bear in mind, but what I'm assuming is that this is the first of British wheel vehicles and there'll be more and they'll have similar crew layouts. Well, you could hope so, but in terms of crew portability, even though this is classified as a medium tank, you won't be swapping crews too easily from a crew training perspective with your other medium tanks. All right, um, so the, probably the key things, um, mobility, uh, we talked about that hasn't really changed, of course, from crew skills perspective. But concealment, we've got up to just under 30 for a stationary and 22.8. Um, so that's with crew skills and the um, camo paint. And we could run directives to improve some of those things as well. But I think that's a good starting point, um, give you an idea of the sort of base qualities of the vehicle. So what we can see from the armor, of course, is that it's pretty much paper. Um, oh, that's what the other thing I want to see. Spotting's gone up from 380 to 483, so that's reasonable. Um, could improve further, but uh, that's not bad for a mobile vehicle. So again, could decide to sacrifice DPM and put in a vert stab, or you could go all scout mode and put in CVS. Um, but so there's different mixes you could go, and that really comes down to, you know, what is the role of the tank going to be, or and how to suit your playstyle. All right, that's probably enough for the vehicle. Um, there's not a lot to compare it to. There's no other wheeled medium vehicle. We could compare it to tanks, I suppose, but I'm not sure if that's the point here. So rather than going into our old tanks.gg sort of detail analysis, um, we'll see if we can get some gameplay. Well, we've got a battle on Muro. Um, got a replay actually from one of my colleagues, 99 Destroyer. I'll put his links to his um, channel. He's going to stream it tomorrow. Um, he's running the uh, V-stab, optics and vents. Uh, it's coming down to the, um, the boom here just to do some early spotting. Now, one of the features of this particular vehicle is that, um, yeah, you've got... Well, apart from not having much armour. <laughs> so, uh, that, um, yeah, you can actually turn on the spot, unlike the other wheel vehicles, uh, where you have to sort of drive forward or backwards to be able to turn. So it does give you a little bit more mobility in that sense. Um, okay, now top speed, as we've noticed, noted, um, 60Ks, doesn't really put it at the front of the pack. Um, number of battles I had earlier, you just get to the spots where you battle at pretty much the same time as the other medium, so no real advantage there. Um, reverse speed 30Ks, that's reasonable, but you know, I think you've got to be set up as a bit of a sniper and um, use that reverse speed to get out of trouble without necessarily having to rotate your tank. Um, one other comment, it looks like a high vehicle, uh, reminiscent of the Sheridan in terms of the shape from the side, the profile, but in reality, it's really not much taller than your average medium tank. So I'll put it on side a um, Skoda T27 and uh, pretty much the same height there, so not any real disadvantage in that sense. Anyway, you can see uh, 99 is actually setting up as a sniping position, just looking for these targets. It's got one shot of damage and has spotted quite a bit of assisted damage there. Gun handling is reasonable, but as I said, um, it's running V-stab and I, that's what I found. I started off with um, Fence, rammer and coated optics and I just think that yeah you do need V-stab and you do get spotted there. No, it's interesting that no one's actually shot back. I found um, I get wiped out pretty quickly if I got spotted but perhaps that's um, yeah just the hunger of people to find a new tank and be one of the first to kill one. Or at least get it on your, your list that you've killed one. But um, 
yeah, it's got no real protection, you can't really bounce anything, so you just have to put yourself at the edge of your range if possible. Now, 99's doing a pretty good job here, he's not really quite out of the way, and they do know he's here, but for some reason they're just lining up. So, nice of the enemy to make themselves available like this. So, let's see anyway how much damage 99 can get. Yeah, this is Miro, so we know this is the magic forest, so you're setting up outside, not going to get much fun inside the forest, uh, you really have to expose yourself a bit too much and, um, yeah, really can't bounce anything unless it sort of hits the gun. Now having said that, um, okay, now what about hitting the tyres? Now one of the differences between the medium wheel vehicle here and the French light vehicles is the amount of side coverage that the tyres give you from the, um, and there you go, just a bit of long reload there that just, yeah, robs you of a few opportunities, not quite, not like the, um, EBR 75, it's got much shorter reload time, but, um, lower alpha, but overall can do a bit more burst damage. Sorry, back to, um, yeah, the wheels. So, from the side view, you see that the wheels don't cover as much, so your chances of getting hit on the side are not and your wheel's not absorbing it so much lower in this vehicle than it is in the French light wheel vehicle, so just bear that in mind that you don't get much protection from wheels. If you do lose a wheel, you'll find that the forward speed drops dramatically from 60 k's an hour to 22. And, uh, yeah, so that you're not going to get out of trouble all that quickly with um, that. And you see again the longer reload, not really helping there. But uh, you just have to learn to live with that, I guess, so. And just pick your moments. Okay, spotting a few vehicles. Hasn't been spotted himself yet, but snaps a shot and that doesn't connect. And this yeah, gun handling is a bit odd. And he's really mixing it up here. Now this is where you can take a lot of damage in one spot. And your circling ability, well, there you go. That is the end, and that's what I found that um, you can really lose your hit points really quickly. So, a bit of uh, damage taken and a bit of damage spotted there. Um, so, we'll go and just put the results up there. It's not so much important to wait for the end of this game here, but it was a victory. So, let's just jump to the results and we'll have a look at that. Alright, here are the results from that battle. So, ended up with 2.1k of damage um, and 1880 of uh, assisted damage there. Spotted quite a few vehicles as well. Um, from a team score perspective, actually finished on top, which is interesting. Um, profitability, uh, you can see made 76k after taxes and that includes paying for consumables uh, but that included 50k for um, your first win in a premium account um, so yeah it just sort of came fairly even there so nine shots fired for that damage um, seven hits and six pens so not too bad there all right we'll go into another quick battle and just uh, again get some uh, vision of the tank and in play and See if we can uh, spot any more characteristics we can point out. Alright, now we're on the Fisherman's Bay map and we've got Vents, Rammer and V-Stab again. And also the uh, Vents Directive. So, that will get a better all-round performance there. Right, now, 99's got a full load of APCR, so that will affect the um, profitability. See, doing 60k is over even a slope, that's not too bad. But see, certainly being outpaced by the lab tanks, uh, I guess that's not surprising. Anyway, great spot for spotting, um, although pretty obvious spot gets a shot into the target TP, no target P. And see, here's the reload going. Don't have the reload timer unfortunately, but yeah, going to be around about 10 seconds or two. actually with the rammer and the vents directive. Uh, it's going to be just under 10 seconds, so 9.7, right about that. Anyway, gets a kill, which is good. Don't target P just wandering around. We should get another one here if you can. Just get the edge of that. Yep, 
Type 59. Now, again, using the APCR rounds here, and so the pin is about 250, 248. Um, so plenty enough for tier 8. Now, will it make it competitive in other tiers? That's a bit hard to say. Alright, can you hit the light tank? Yes, now, there you go. So, gun handling there with the V stab. Um, and a good crew, not too bad there. And you might just be able to get him again. No, that's a blind shot in, but it doesn't hit, but he does pick up some assistant damage on the mother light tank. So the view range paying off there. And compared to the super test, it did actually lose 10 litres of view range. It was originally 390, but it's in the game now at 380. But that's okay. It's um, still reasonable. So with coded optics, you're getting about um, 480 plus of, and food of course, 480 plus of uh, actual motion. So it's a hit in on the T34-3. Looks like it went through the side of the turret. So side shot's definitely paying off um, penetration on, as I said, 248. So plenty for tanks and gets a shot to the P-43. Now with 360 Alpha, your you can see is sort of not getting too many high rolls there, but um, it's roughly four shots to take out a 1200 point vehicle. Now, notice they've much covered the side I think so you can come back here and take out these vehicles here he's taking a bit of a risk and the said mobility is not going to be perfect so you can see he's taking some hits taking lots of hits and it may not last too much longer and whether this VK will get a shot in into him yes he will so again that's the experience that I've had once you get into a vulnerable position you can get wiped out pretty quickly you've got no armor and only 1200 hit points so yeah you don't necessarily have a long life so it's another short game and i think that i wouldn't say this is going to be characteristic uh, obviously you can stay out of trouble but um can you get damage while you're staying out of trouble that's the question all right let's jump back to the garage quickly and we'll just summarize all right some last words on this vehicle uh, firstly um how are you going to get it i believe this is actually going to come out in the premium shop so it's not going to be a marathon tank as far as I know uh, there will be an announcement coming out at the same time as this um, video um, so you will find out more then so I can't even tell you the, the cost of it um, but you could expect it to be around about the same as uh, any other sort of medium tank um, also you'd probably expect there will be a full line of um, wheeled vehicles in the British line probably from about tier six or tier eight so i'd say it's going to be you know it's very similar to the um french light vehicle so not right from the bottom of the um tier one to tier 10 but expect it to to go to the top but they will if you can expect anything yeah they will be in the medium line um you know some pretty uh, big um, wheel vehicles in afvs in the uh british heritage so that's what i'd expect to see some of those classic vehicles there all right, is it a tank you really want? Um, hmm. It's a good question. I think you're going to have to play pretty much as a redline sniper or certainly at the edge of your range. You've really got to preserve your health. Uh, you can lose it really quickly. And the DPM on this is not magic. So you're going to have to take your shots opportunistically and stay out of trouble as long as possible to get any decent damage out of it. Um, is it fun to play? It's not too bad, um, but you know, is it? more fun than a Barask? Probably not. So if you haven't got a Barask yet, <laughs> go get one. Um, uh, but if you're a fan of British vehicles, I think you'll enjoy it in that sense. Um, you know, it's a bit of heritage and that sort of thing. So um, go for it in that case. All right. Um, I'm not too fussed about it. I don't think I'd buy it if it was on sale, but that's me. Um, and um, yeah, but otherwise it's pretty decent vehicle it's all rounded it's definitely not overpowered so i'll leave that to your decision do you want to get it or not um definitely personal choice and playstyle driven um it's a unique looking vehicle at the moment in the game but we'll have to see what comes out in the future anyway 
that's the video. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed at least part of it or gleaned some information out of it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Try and get this video in front of more people. will certainly help. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.